can't fix it. It's just, it's just bad. It's just broken. Hey, button pushers. My name is Nick, and welcome to Pit of Babel. Uh, this is a game made for a game jam by Scotty Supple and Massio Mare. Now, I've played a couple of Massio Mare games before, and there is a certain aesthetic with their games. Um, oh. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. There it is. Yeah, like that. So this should be interesting. From what I can gather, this is a game about taking little creatures, grinding them up into little Tetris blocks, and building a tower to heaven. Yep. Oh. I mean, that's... Oh, it squeaks! Oh, yay! Have some food, little buddy. Ooh, does it get bigger? Okay, let's take you, put you there. Nom, nom, nom. Ah, okay. Oh, bro, oh, that, that thing's awful. Okay. Nom. Okay, let's see what happens when I do this. Goodbye! Okay. Put you there, I guess. Hmm. Okay. So I need to keep farming these little little chunks, do I? God, I don't like how wobbly it is. Okay, let's... Ooh. The tar and sand beneath me were only contrasted by the pale smoke that suffocated my vision. As I travelled deeper to the bottom of this pit of oily black sands, I felt a foreign confusion grow within me, and for a moment, I pondered escape. The soil was too loose to allow me the proper footing to climb out. The only direction this geography allowed was descent. Even then, the incline of this pit was far too sheer to allow me to move directly down without tumbling helplessly. So I descended slowly in this familiar clockwise spiral. Voice cracked there as well, good. For a moment, I was filled with a peculiar nostalgia for this path I had never taken. I felt a mix of fear and an excitement that was alien to my thoughts just moments ago. I noticed how perfect my every footfall was, how every step seemed so precise. It felt more intentional than what my fatigued mind should be capable of. It was here I noticed that I had become paranoid of my own stride. I worked again to quiet my mind. It was lost in these confusing thoughts that I noticed a form emerge from the smoke before me. It was the shape of a person, taller than my own stature. This silhouette in the fog was moving counterclockwise towards me. Their black clothing blended almost perfectly in with the sand. Grub got. I did not recognise their language, but I understood this as a greeting. I should have felt a reflex to flee in that moment, but this reflex never came. Now only a few metres in front of me, this man came into focus before stopping. His suit and posture were that of a businessman, but with clothing far too worn and stained. His only sense of formality was coming from how he held himself with such confidence. It is good to see you. His accent was foreign, and almost thicker than the smoke that enshrouded us. H have, have we met? I asked in an unintentionally strange tone, the sound of my own voice surprising me. Hardly, but I would like to, he replied, still beaming. Pardon? I replied, working to take control of my voice. We have hardly met, but I would like to get to know each other. Proximity can be a powerful thing. I wondered what he meant by these words. May I walk alongside you? It would be far too ironic to arrive alone. He had begun approaching me before finishing his sentence. You, you may? I spoke almost purely out of obligation. And so, we descended clockwise, spiralling below. Hmm. <laughs> okay, ooh. 
Got lots of them. Yo, 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 yo. You got that. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, Jesus. Right. So there's one, there's another one right up there. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna. Yeah, I can go there. This one can go there. Oh, it's so wobbly. And this one can go there. And you can go there. Ooh, stop it. Okay. Load. Drop. And a drop. Okay, you can go there. I don't really have a use for you yet, so you can go there for now. I'll use you later. It's all fine. You. Food. Food for my little baby. Grind. It's so gross. I feel so bad for the poor little bastards. Okay, right now you can go that. Fine. Cool. Slow and steady progress. I need some sort of like base structure or it's just gonna all fall to crap. If I try and do too thin and too tall. Don't really have a use for you yet, so I can wait to use you. Nom nom. Circle of life, baby. Circle of life. Yo. And then Ooh. there we go. No, oh, not one of these really. Actually that's that's fine. I can make do with that. Perfect. It's a good little system I got going on. I think. I don't actually know. Okay. Yes, that was a dodgy thing to do, but it worked. After some time travelling deeper, he spoke. You know where we are? I scrambled to discern whether this was a question or a statement. Before I could come to a conclusion, he continued, This terrible pit of tar and smoke, the sense of confusion, of wonder. I could feel him smiling behind me. Do you have any idea where or what this place was, past or present? I was confident I'd known moments ago, but at this moment I was unsure. Enlighten me. Enlighten, he cackled. I turned, catching a glimpse of his grin. Well, I have an amusing hypothesis, but before I share with you my wayward thoughts, do you recall why you came here? A strange fear gripped me as he spoke these words. I remembered loss. I remembered something small that I could not carry any longer. I believed myself to have lost a child. I could feel the weight of it in my arms, but the specifics remained amorphous. These thoughts were so painful, had I truly forgotten the name, the face of my own child? Again, I remembered their weight in my arms. I remembered breastfeeding and nursing them, and I remembered shame. I remembered shame. No, no I can't recall a thing, I said, the smothered emotions in my face giving away my poor lie. What an unfortunate thing to lose. Well, I believe we found ourselves at the site of a miracle, a biblical miracle of that. He responded so quickly and with such ease. And I am not speaking in metaphor or a riddle, I am quite literal. I choose to believe this is the site of the Ziggurat of Babel. Well, the Tower of Babel, now terribly decomposed. I barely absorbed his hypothesis, my mind still struggling to discern my own thoughts. I know you don't believe me. I did not respond, and his silence between us lasted what seemed like a small eternity. Hmm. I mean, I should have expected some sort of dark and weird and horrible twist, because it's a Matty O'Mare game, and that's why I love them. What are you? Nom nom. Nom nom nom. Okay, it's not food. Hmm, curious. Ah, ha ha ha. Interesting. That is very cool. So that's what that does. It gives me another little food spot. Oh, the rain stopped. 
Okay, so now I've got two of the food spawners. I want to make it so I've always got two, two of the little critters running about. Keep this system rolling for as long as I can. Ooh. That was wobbly. I don't like how wobbly that was. Oh, it's making me nervous. This is making me very nervous. Okay, I feel like I have some stability to this though. But it is still making me nervous. If I get any more four blocks, they can go there to kind of give it a little bit more girth. But wake up and have a snack. Silly boy. That can go there. It's getting thinner and thinner. Thinner and thinner. Yeah, that's right. Nom. 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 You can go there. Oh no, I don't like how that's doing that. You can go just there. Oh, I hate that. No, no, no. Oh. 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 Okay. Let's fix this. I can't fix it. It's just it's just bad. It's just broken. Fuck. Okay. Not good. Not good. That's just wobbly as hell. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to start. See so yeah, if I keep adding stuff to this. Why does my voice keep cracking? If I keep adding stuff to this, it's just gonna break. God. No. No. I hate. Oh no, I lost my block. Damn it. Oh, this is making me very nervous. You go there. And you can go there. Hopefully that'll be fine. Doesn't doesn't look like it's gonna be, but hopefully it will be. I need to know how this story ends. Because I don't know how many levels there are. Like, well, how many of the little baubles there are that I need to get to. Baubles. How far away am I? Oh, not that far. Okay. <sighs> That's stressing me out. That's stressing me out so bad. Yo. Yo. And you. You go there. You. And go here. I can't tell if that little gap's getting bigger or not. I sincerely hope it's not. Because that would be a problem. For you, do I have any use for you? I do. No, I do not. Chuck you in there. Um, okay. That's you. Yo. Bonk, bonk. Monch. Monch. You, do I have any use for you? <laughs> no, I'm not going to use you. Might, however, use you. Yes. Ah, perfect. Yeah, so I can do that there, and then this one can link in with the- Hey, I made it! Nice. The exhaustion in my limbs grew crushing. I felt as if I could collapse at any moment. Yet still, my legs carried me as if they'd made this journey a thousand times before. I raised my head, and my eyes were drawn to nothing. There was no shape, no pattern before me, but still my eyes and my vision were transfixed on a particular point of the smoke just ahead. I failed to explain the sensation I felt, as from this nothing emerged the shape of a towering boulder of debris. A strange voice inside of me felt I had willed this ruin into existence from the smoke itself. 
Behold, a fragment of Babel, the man whispered to himself still behind me. We approached this remnant of some vast structure. Its architecture that remained intact was perplexingly industrial. The blackened swirling stone that comprised it appeared to have been cut at strange angles with a precision greater than that of any ancient culture. The spiralled stone interlocked more similarly to a puzzle or abstraction of art than any practical structure. Even this monolithic remnant seems to desperately beg to collapse. Yet, it stood with impressive resistance, its lack of weathering giving the impression it had recently been placed in, although I knew this was not to be true. We rested beneath an overhang of this structure, slowly regaining our strength. Together, nested here, we stared down into the endless smoke below, both carefully observing nothing but the haze. You believe me now? I spent no time discerning his intention. Is, is that a question? I asked. A moment of silence passed between us. Do you want to know why I came here, to this ruined tower? Before I could respond, he stood and spoke again. We stand here at the site of the greatest cooperation. A cooperation so grand that the divine struck it down out of contempt. Now, was it the goodness of men, the wealth of kings, that allowed this tower's construction? No. It was something far more beautiful than that. Language. The true language. The perfect language. The ability to express ideas to others as they exist within your very head. Our inability to communicate is what keeps us separate. It keeps our memories from truly being shared. We are a consciousness of cells that is denied the community our components possess. With perfect communication, there is no barrier between you and me. There is no misunderstanding, no need for lies or confusion. There is no self. How else could this stone tangle so elegantly, organically, yet remain so robust? The work of countless brilliant organisms. This was the work of a lost organism. The organism made in our God's image. Humanity. We were denied the structure, the form, but here, among these ruins, we will understand each other again. In fact, we already are. Listen close. Even our accents have melted away. He turned to me, his monologue concluding, and his gaze locked with mine. You think I lie? He said, full of fading passion. Okay. Whoa, five, six. Okay, so six goes up to six. That laughing is very disconcerting. They are genuinely awful. Uh, so they offer me nothing. All they do is eat the food. Okay, so I need to listen out for the laughing and just get rid of them as soon as possible. Okay. So this is going up here. Okay. Don't really want to use this one. How's that? That makes me nervous. Okay, that's fine. So now this I can just lay on top. Cool. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Nah. Oh. 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 Why? Why did I do that? You can go there. You can actually go there. Okay. I swear that's getting bigger. I don't like it. Why have I done this to myself? So if nothing else, I think this is going to act as a good backup. So if it all comes tumbling down, I can just rebuild from something at least a little bit steady. Which hopefully it doesn't all come falling down. That's 
is not an ideal position for me to be in. Oh, nearly there. Nearly there. So we're halfway through the tower. I am under no illusions that I'm probably not going to get this tower complete. I want to, because I want to know what the hell is going on with this story, but I'm prepared. I'm prepared for it all to fall down at the last minute. I, just, I wish there was somewhere to reinforce that gap. But there ain't. I should have sorted out when I had the chance. For now, I do not. Okay, you can go around. Cool. No, no, I... Well, well then, you wish to know the truth. He cut me off sharply. His inflection changed, clearly feigning emotion. It's a tragic story. I lost something very important to me. I lost my baby, my wee little lad. Stop it, I said coldly. He refused. I can't even remember his face or name, but I can remember him sucking from my tit. Shut up, I shouted. And now I'm just all full of sh shut up, I screamed, now standing and enraged. I grabbed his chest and shoved him back, sending him tumbling out of our temporary rest site. As soon as he recovered his feet, he charged back up the hill towards me. I struck him in the head with as much force as I could muster before he grappled me, pressing and holding me still. Unable to struggle free from him, he spoke to me through his teeth. So much emotion that you fail even to observe your own anatomy. Let me remind you. As he released me from his grapple, he tore my loose-fitting shirt up and over my head, before retreating back and away from my flailing body. Look, you could never have breastfed any child, let alone your own. You're a man, deeply confused by memories that have drifted into your head. Although I was seething, for a moment I looked down and was shocked to see my own body fail to align even slightly with my remembered self. That child was never yours. That memory you're holding so closely, so clearly, is that of this place, of some woman beneath these sands. A maelstrom of emotions swelled within me. The unclear images of children, family and lovers that had plagued my mind came into focus. Incompatible memories of men, women, beauty and loss. Who was I in this sea? In whose body did I stand in this moment? As a tightness constricted in my throat and a heat built within my chest, I collapsed to my knees, mourning the lives I'd never lived. I curled into a ball and cried, tears of a hundred strangers. You believe me now? Whew. Okay, still got no more. Hey, another food thing. Still not got any giggly, giggly boys to worry about, so that's good. And also nothing new coming to haunt our dreams either, so also good. Do I need to do anything with this, or is it just going to do it? I may have just broken it. That was foolish. Now, yeah, well. yeah, we're fine. Oh, good. I've got another one. Bonk. Right, you can go there. Right. Loads of stuff. You can go... There. Don't like that. You can go on the top of it. And you, my little four block friend, can go there. Ooh, what are you? Can I make use of you? Not really. Oh yeah, can I put it in here? What happens if I do that? Nope, go in. No. <laughs> no, good. Get rid of you, we chunk up all the food. Jesus. <laughs> okay, this one's fine. I can use this one. And now I can use... Here? Yeah, no, I can't. But I might be able to use this one. Oh, uh, yeah. 
now I can use the other one. Like a well-oiled machine of flesh blocks. How far away are we from flyers? Interesting. Uh, quite a way. Oh, I can zoom out! Oh, well, that's a game changer. You beat, beat, fucking idiots. Okay, this is going to make ooh, navigation a lot easier. God, the whole tower's like leaning to the left. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that so much. Stop sleeping and eat. I need you to keep pooping out babies. So I can grind them up. You go there. And then you can go up here too. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> you. Why. Why were you not laughing? Why were you trying to sneak up on me? I don't like that. See, next time there's one of the laughy, laughy boys, I might um, feed him that, see what happens. I don't know if it will do anything, but one might find out. You can go here. I have been it's getting. Eat. Eat. Keep eating. Never stop eating. Hmm. Okay, two of these. I don't know if these are of any use to me, but we'll go find out. Not really. Could put you there now. Might put it there. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Okay, the other one I put on top of it. Why do you insist on sleeping all the time? What's wrong with you? So, yeah. Uh, I can go there. Then I can put the other... Yes, okay, this is fine. So you can go there. And then the other corner one. I can hook onto it. And then the long one. Long one. Long one can just go next to it. Cool. Cool. Getting closer. Getting closer. Can I use you? I'm uncertain. I can. Jesus, the whole thing is just swaying. And I hate it. Can you go there? Yes, and then you. Oh, Jesus. When did that get so wobbly? Whoa. You can go there. Nearly there. Nearly at number five. And then we've nearly made our way to heaven. Apparently. So close. So close. That that is fully getting bigger. That's about to Oh no, hopefully hopefully there's enough support. Okay, so I think even if that does collapse, we should be okay. I bloody hope so, anyway. <gasps> no. The whole thing's gonna collapse. The whole thing's gonna collapse. I recalled leaving that place a hundred times. I recalled a thousand steps by different feet. The downward spiral had tightened. The smoke had become so heavy and viscous that at times I felt I could have swam through it if I was granted the appropriate anatomy. The man walked ahead of me now. He had for some time. We'd spoken little as we descended. Our communication had grown abstract, it often being unclear who was the speaker at any given moment. Even in some moments, there was no speaker, only language. You are afraid. Beneath this earth, will I dream? Will I know how this ends? Amnesia is the small death. What is memory but the measurement of life? Is to share memory not to extend one's own life? 
Are there perhaps shapes, recursive and fractal, that emerge from life that only can be examined when viewing many lives? Do these shapes harbour greater truth, divinity, or the absence of it? If the mind is in the image of God, what image do we do we now take? The mind drifted in and out of a sea of sounds, each resembling voice in form but only being understandable in great quantities, like the grains in sand. Individual, we were solid and unique, but as a structure, we took on properties that could only be approximated as fluid. As we made our final descent, this tide of mines was what controlled us. I think my tower fell. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, no! Oh! I broke the thing! The thing broke! Crap. Crap. Okay. So sadly, this is where my journey ends. We will not find out the end of the story because it's taken me 45 minutes to get to this point and I don't have time to rebuild it. Oh, this is very cool. I think I probably will play this again. Not necessarily record it, but I will play this again because I want to see what the ending is. But this is very cool. Classic Massey Omar style game. Like The aesthetic is just obviously bang on, creepy as hell. Very uncomfortable, very unsettling story. So yeah, good. Very on brand. Well done. So... If you want to check this out for yourself, then the link to the game page is in the description. If you have a game you've developed or there's just an indie game you like playing, then let me know about it, leave me a comment, reach out on social media, and I will play it. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then why don't you go ahead and the like button, the weird shape of flesh that is the subscribe button, make sure you that bad boy. And until next time, love you, bye.